The devil didn't envision you to be here today. He's afraid of you. He's not so much afraid of what you're doing now, but he's afraid of your destiny where God is getting ready to take you. Somebody ought to give God a hand praise and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I've been through ups, I've been through down. I've been through pain and pain. So during that process, my husband moved to Atlanta to go to law school. I went with him. I was angry with him because I had left my family my familiar surroundings. I knew he was trying to better himself, and I said, baby, go ahead, I'll support you. He left me with a baby, six weeks old. I couldn't understand that. He didn't want to, but he had been approved, and he had to go that particular day, so I let him go, but little did he know, I was bitter inside. Yeah, shut up. I was angry with him. I held on to the anger. He finally moved me down there a month later, but I was still angry. I got me a job. I thought I was doing well, but I was telling somebody I was still angry with him. I, I held it in. Yes, yes. He couldn't understand why I was flying off the handle and I was mad and I was upset with him. He couldn't understand. He said, I'm trying to do all I can. I'm going to school. I'm working. I, I'm doing the best I can. Why are you so angry? I was on a co collision course with hell. I thought about it night and day, how I was going to do it, the letter that I was going to write, the people I was going to call, the things I was going to give away. I want to talk to somebody right now. When people start giving away stuff, people start calling you out of nowhere that you hadn't heard from in a long time, check them out, ask them what's wrong with them. Nine times out of ten, they're thinking about suicide. So, it was. As life went on, God blessed me to be able to get a job with a young lady that witnessed to me. Told me about the goodness of Jesus. She was a white young lady. And I'm saying white because back then, I didn't like white folks. Somebody looking at me strange. Yeah, I'm just going to tell it like it is. I didn't like white folks because of what they did to us. I didn't like white folks because I had a best friend that was white, and she asked me to spend the night with her, and I did. And then when I got out of the bed that evening and needed to get my hair combed, she said, I can't let you use my comb because you're a nigger. The Dean family. You know him, Denise. My daddy worked for him. And her best friend laughed. That broke me. Pain. That's why I say I carry pain all my life. Pain. But I got over that. But this young lady witnessed to me. I went to church with her. Make it long story short. I gave my life to God. And God changed my life. Supernaturally. I left the cigarettes alone. I left the drugs alone. I left, stopped going to the clubs. I stopped cussing my husband out. I started being a better wife. I started cooking for him and telling him how much I love him. I started praising God. And I became a holy roller when I went to Calvary in Charlotte, North Carolina, when we got back home. Hey! And my life has never been the same. God did it. I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. Hey! But it was nobody but God when I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I had him. I lost my mother, but I had Jesus. I lost my daddy, but I had Jesus. I lost my husband to school, but I had Jesus. I was no longer lonely. I had free. That's why I'm here today. I have a mandate. I help hurting women overcome life disappointments and childhood trauma. I've been there. I've been delivered. I know how to forgive. I know how to forgive quickly. I don't want the pain. I don't want the depression. I don't want the anxiety. I don't want the illnesses that it comes with when you hold on to stuff. When cancer comes in your body, cells. The reason you got high blood pressure, you're mad, you're angry, you're holding stuff in. Get it out. Tell somebody that you're driving. Get it out, baby. Come on. Get it out. We're going to push. Come on, push, push it out, push it out, push that anger out, push that bitterness out. How many want to be delivered today?